Here is Zima Blade, the single board server for cyber natives. So what comes inside this? 60 Hz video, USB-C, PCI Express, quad core processor up to 16 GB of DDR3L RAM, Gigabit Ethernet, 6 Watt TDP power, dual SATA 3, USB 3.0 and so on. If you talk about the hardware, dual SATA 3.0 port slot for RAM, PCIe expansion slot, Gigabit Ethernet card, Mini Display Port 1.2, Super Speed USB 3.0. And if I talk about what is it built for, you can use it as a single cable PC, cybersecurity firewall, Plex Media Server, retro gaming emulator, wireless travel router, personal cloud storage, light home lab server, auto GPT server. I have used it as a Proxmox high availability cluster for which I have provided the link in the description. If I compare it with Raspberry Pi 4, of course, it is a fully functional server. In Zima Blade, you can install any operating system of your choice. You have two choices, Intel quad-core processor or Intel dual-core processor. It comes with up to 16 GB of the RAM. Internal storage is 32 GB eMMC SATA 3.0 port. You can connect up to 154 terabytes of the storage. Ethernet card, it has only one gigabit Ethernet card and it has passive cooling and I have been using it for more than a month now. So it comes with TDP 6 watt or 10 watt depending upon the usage and display port it comes with one type C display port 4k and one mini display port 1.2. These are all the ports which are available into this. It also comes with the Intel virtualization technology VTX which is perfect for the virtualization platform. So dimension this is very small and 175 grams of total weight which you can carry in your pocket easily. If I click order now, so you have Zima Blade 3760, which is dual core, 7700 is quad core. And then if you want to have a RAM also, advanced kit, where you can have the power adapter, USB-C extra cable is there, and then DVI connector is there, SATA cable, which is already there with every model. So this is for the NAS kit dual SATA cable to connect with your external storage. You can mount it on wall if you want. If you want to create complete 12 core 48 GB cluster with Zima board, you can go for three Zima boards, 16 GB RAM each, and you can create a perfect cluster for your home lab or office. Of course, you can use it as a NAS server or Proxmox server. This particular option is a perfect choice if you want to have the Zima, if you want to have, if you want to have the cluster, the storage cluster. So 12 core, 48 GB cluster is going to be a perfect choice. So let me show you unboxing of this. As you open the box, you'll notice some documentation. And here it is. The compact size, nice Zima Blade, a single board server designed for cyber natives. Now let's compare its size with Raspberry Pi. It's almost the same size, making it a perfect replacement. But Zima Blade comes with tons of features. Look at this. Two external SATA ports, a network port, USB 3.0 port, a fully functional USB-C port with charging capability, DVI port, and of course, a PCIe slot. This package also includes 8 GB of RAM that we need to insert into the Zima board. So let's do that. Simply open the box, untighten the screw, insert the RAM and close the box. Now let's connect the power cable, the DVI port, network cable and there you have folks, Zima Blade unboxed and let me show you how we can start using Zima Blade, the perfect choice for the cyber natives. Of course it comes with pre-installed CASA OS. I'll be just typing in here CASA OS dot local. So to get started, click on go. So I'll be using my user ID password. It shows me the internal storage here. It is healthy. Here is the update. So first of all, let us click on update. It asks for the user ID and password again. I'll just enter it here. So upgrade has successfully completed here. And here you can see the CLI. So you can use the terminal here and CASA OS is user ID and CASA OS password. So I'll check the storage here. So this is how the boot volume and swap volume is created. 
So all the files which are stored either in the root storage or other storages, you can check that here. You can connect to Dropbox, Google Drive, network storage on your NAS, or you can have a new local storage. I'll now first of all connect the storage. All right, so I have added here two devices. One is the USB 3.0, 2 TB, and one is 8 TB. All right, so here is another SSD also, which is right now connected. If I go here to storage manager, you can see here oh, 111 GB SSD is connected and storages which are there is USB. Of course, it needs to be formatted in case you want to have it. Close the app from here. So you can install the app from the app store. These are all the containerized apps which are available. The Unify controller for the Ubiquiti access points. Pi-hole, I use it for the ad blocking. So it can work as a DNS server. It is a great tool in order to secure your network from the malicious ads. Nginx proxy manager can also be used. OpenHab, one of the home automation systems. Nextcloud for having your personal cloud. And Jellyfin and then Home Assistant. In case you want to use the custom app here. So in custom app, you can get the Docker images which are not available here so you can of course download and get it installed we'll try to install the app here and my first app that i like the most is home assistant this will help me to do the home automation it will continue in background then i'll be installing the pi hole default password is casa os now you can see pi hole is installed so i'll be just opening pi hole this is the default password here I have covered PyHole in a video. Link is provided in the description. Now these two apps are installed here. So I'll be going here. So I'll be installing the Nginx Proxy Manager. My most favorite apps are already installed here. So here you can see Jellyfin. Many apps that are definitely going to help you like uh, Plex is there, Portainer is there, Lightweight Docker Manager. So I'll be installing the Cloudflare also here. Because all my websites are on Cloudflare. So Cloudflare setup can be done here. You can create the Cloudflare token. You can get access to it. I won't be doing it right now. Home Assistant here is the next cloud. You can of course back up your images, your files, your calendar, contacts and so on on your own personal cloud. So we'll be installing ChatGPT UI also. You have to of course configure it using the API keys and based on the key, it will of course connect. Of course, we can install the other operating systems. I have shown you different projects that I have done with the help of Zima Blade and the link is in the description below.